Hello guys, welcome back again. This is Suresh from Automation channel. Today in this session, we will discuss about the listeners concept. So we will discuss one of the listener, which is a view results table. In the last session, we have discussed about what is the response time and what is the latency and how we created a first test plan. In case if you are new to this session, do watch my earlier session so that you will understand this session. So let's get started. So this is a test plan that we created in the last session. And in this test plan, we have a HTTP request with uh, two listeners, which is a view results tree and view results table. So we will discuss view results table now. And this is a thread group. So under thread group, I have uh, given a uh, five thread users, 10 seconds ramp up time and uh, loop count is two. And now I will hit my request and start it. Now you can see the results are popping here in the view results table. So I think the execution is done. So this view results table is something is a uh, the results which will be displaying in the tabular form. That is uh, uh, we have a rows and columns. And this is one of the commonly used listeners and provides the important information for our analysis. And it shows the data in the tabular format for all samplers and this listener cannot be used for the load testing while doing a load testing we cannot use this sampler because this will add an extra load in the cpu and where our results might differ so we have to disable this listener when we do an actual load test so this is for our development purpose so while developing you wanted to see the results so for that you can use this listeners and what we can find in the listeners so in this listeners you can see the name here you can update the name as you required so you can name it anything and you can add some comments and you can do a browse file so what you can do in the browse file you can write results to the file and read from the file so if you can browse any file here and you can read and write that file so basically the JTL file. So JTL file I will discuss in the uh, upcoming sessions what is the importance of JTL file how we can do here. So that we will discuss and then you, ha you have here the errors. If you check these errors you will see the errors and the success. So all this information you can see by filtering as we have only 10 records so it is easy to see. So no need to filter it out and uh, then you have this config. So you can see the sample results save configuration. So you can check and uncheck all this you can use this option so we will discuss later on now in this table what we can see so first and foremost thing is the samples so what we have here is the number of samples that means that uh, in the thread group each uh, hitting to the server in an api it calls a sampler so each time when one request go and hit to the server and that is called as one sampler so we have a uh, five request with the ramp up of 10 seconds and we have a thread loop of 2 so it means that 10 samples we have created and uh, next we have a start time so it is a time when samples were started or issued so we have started our uh, jmd test right so that time onwards it will keep on iterate or keep on running on every two seconds if you see here uh, it is a 28 and then you have a 30 then you have a 32 then 34 36 seconds and then you have a thread name so this is a thread name basically this is a thread so which is a thread group right so thread group then one of one one of two it's a threads number of threads is one and the number of loops that we are rotating is two times because one of one one of two one of one of two and like this it will keep on update then the label name so this is the http sampler name that we have provided that name is popping here then we have a sample type so the sample time is something which once a request is initiated by the server the time taken to get the response from the request is a sample time right so in the last session we have discussed about response time and latency you watch that session and come back you will understand this sample time here right so this is once request is initiated by the server time it taken to get the response so that is the sample time then you have a status so status is showing a pass and fail symbols which is a green uh, tick mark or a cross symbol with a red background 
and then you have a two things here bytes one is a bytes one is a send bytes you may be confusing right why we have a two bytes here so one bytes is a received bytes by the client another is sent bytes so bytes sent to the server then you have a latency so latency you know right uh, it is a a delay in the response by the application from the request sent by the user so this is the most important thing the response sampler time and a latency and then you have a connector time so this is the time that request takes to hit the server so request you initiated and it takes the time to hit the server so in 72 milliseconds it's hit the server so like every time uh, you see right in the columns it has a different different times so that is the time where it took uh, our our request to hit the server so this is about our view results table and you can save this uh, results as well so you can browse some file so this is all about view results table hope this session is helpful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel in case if you are having any questions queries you can post in the comment section i will be out thank you